All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. Bro, I kept them in thy name. And he's referring... <clears throat> All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, Shah Bahashem Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful like out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopefully the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright, and what I want to get into today is respond, you know, to something, you know, that was said by Elder Apostle Gabar in one of his um latest videos. Alright. And um and dealing with, you know, the sisters, alright, the women, and you know, and GMS. All right, <laughs> we're infamous, you know, for getting on a woman. All right, um, calling the woman out. All right, dealing with you know the, the woman's you know role in you know the downfall of us as a people. You know, which hey, the woman plays a major role in it. You know, and we address those things, but also, all right, we go into the nation building aspect. You know, and what the Lord is doing now. You know, with the few sisters that do believe, okay, because there's going to be, you know, a deliverance, you know, of Israelite women, you know, in America, all right, and we know the majority of our women, especially here in America, you know, they're here for judgment, okay, but there's a remnant, you know, even amongst the women whom the Lord is going to have mercy on, all right, and there's women, you know, that have came under the teachings. Okay, of Yahweh Shai through the men whom Yahweh Shai has established, you know, um, as prophets and teachers in this last time. Okay, and those men, all right, um, that the Lord has raised up, you know, has um, become pretty much, you know, a haven, okay, a safe haven for the women that truly believe, all right, and those women are being built up, you know, to be wives, all right, of great men. Okay, and Elder Pastor Gabar, he speaks on it briefly, and I want to let it play, and then I want to expound on it with precepts, you know, so Lord will, you know, you brothers, all right, and you sisters are edified. To his disciples at that time, now guess what, we, as brothers and sisters, that believe in this knowledge is truth, we're part of Yahweh Shai's disciples, we're part of Yahweh Shai's disciples. Okay. Yes, it is written the flock of Yahushua's pasture is men, but the sisters also play a, uh, an important role too. The sisters are, are going to bear our children. Okay, the sisters are going to bear our children, man. They're going to be our wives. All right. So, as he, you know, um, goes into how the women, you know, play an important role. You know, and is, and is, is, is part of their one one of those roles is bearing our children. Okay, and first I want to start here. You know, mentioning the precept that he brought out when you go into um, the book of Proverbs, chapter eight, <clears throat> um, verse one. It says, "Do not wisdom cry, and understand and put forth her voice. She standing in the top of the high places." by the way in the places of the paths all right and that's where you see the camps you know you see the camps you know all over the earth you know mainly here in america you know throughout these cities you know the lord has you know men all right whom he's raised up with the rakakwa dash the holy spirit of understanding you know and we have that spirit to teach edify our people okay not for to play games and not to you know look deep and you know, gimmicks and debates, okay, but to edify people with understanding, okay, and righteousness, man, and prophecy, 
Okay. And it says, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Because first the men had to get in order. Okay, when it comes to rebuilding us as a people, okay, it begins with the men getting in order. All right, and we get in order under Yahweh Shah. Okay, we start to conform to Yahweh Shah. We start to learn of Yahweh Shah. We start to operate, you know, and become leaders and judges, okay, and priests under the order of Yahweh Shah. Okay, moving with, you know, with balance, with humility. Okay, under Yahweh Shah. So um, it begins, you know, us coming back, okay, to our glory as a nation. It begins with the men coming under the order of Yahweh Shah. And as those men, all right, come under the order of Yahweh Shah, all right, and the Lord starts to deal with particular women. When we, well, through those men, okay, there's particular women because the Lord doesn't deal directly with the woman. But through those men whom the Lord has raised up, all right, there's particular women, okay, that's getting back in their order, that's sincerely fighting to get back in their order, okay? And the women play a major part when it comes to nation building, and we're going to expound on it a little more. But when you go here, okay, um, let's get this in Isaiah, all right, because we was all enchanted. And ensnared, you know, by the darkness of this world. Okay, now the women, all right, was was, was way more ensnared because they was given power, you know, liberty. Okay, different perks, you know, there was no accountability to how they was moving, you know. So they was pretty much drunken. Okay, they became more drunk, <laughs> way more drunk than most men. Okay, with the with the cup of Babylon because of all the incentives. You know, given to women in this society. Okay. And we realized that we was all drunk to a degree. You know, we was caught up in, you know, trying to be one of the archetypes. Okay. The Esau, you know, shoved down our throat. You know, what is it? A rapper. All right. Street nigga. A dope boy. Okay. Some type of, you know, celebrity. You know, we was caught up into those things. Okay. And the women, you know, their mindset, you know, was to be independent, all right, strong, okay, pretty much to despise men, okay, um, to, to reject all male authority, like, they was heavy enchanted by that, okay, and it was pretty much like a prison, and that's why when you go to Isaiah 61, okay, it's, and this began with Yahawashah, you know, he quoted this in the book of Luke. Okay, this began with him, and we continue on, you know, as us, as us men of Israel, Israelite men, as we come into this truth and pick up the plow and begin to labor and to teach our people. Well, we pick it, we are uh, continuing on the legacy of Yahweh Shah, what he established, you know, back in uh, uh, his time when he came, you know, which he was under what the Roman Empire, okay, and we're under the new Roman Empire. Okay, NATO EU in America, man. All right, Isaiah 61 and 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, which is the broken mind, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And we was operating in, the, in these enchantments of the devil. And it had us in the prison to where we was limited, you know, like we, 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 it was limited. Um, we, we stunted our growth, you know, cause here it is. We just sons and daughters of the most high. All right. But we was operating, you know, like beast, you know, trying to be a nigga. Like, you know, what, what is a nigga? Like what's the functionalities of a nigga? Like explain what does a street nigga do for society? What is the importance of a street nigga? What is the importance of a bad bitch? Okay? An independent woman. Like, what's the functionality of that in the in the society, man? Okay? And we was in prison to that way of thinking, thinking that that was the way. All right? Which led us to make decisions that sabotaged our life, 
put us in horrible um, predicaments. Okay? Made us make decisions that didn't make sense. Okay? Because we was in that prison of thinking, all right, based on these enchantments, man. Okay? Which led to what? The depression, confusion, okay, anxiety, anger, bitterness. Okay, we we, yeah, we became broken hearted under these enchantments, man. Okay? Yeah, it came with some, some fun times. <laughs> okay, some good times in the flesh. You see? But it always ended up in the same way, bro. Us being broken minded, confused, and, and, and depressed, man. Okay? So, Yahweh Shai. You know, he laid the foundation of the doctrine of getting us back to nobility, man. You see, Esau had us function as degenerates. We all was moving and operating as degenerates, man. Okay? We, we was adding nothing to the nation, only taking away. All right? But yeah, I was shy, you know, through the teachings, okay, uh, of the scriptures, the true understanding. Now we're becoming profitable to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Now we're becoming profitable to ourselves. Now we're becoming profitable into the nation. All right? As we're getting back to nobility. Okay? So Yahweh Shah, he set the standard for that. And this is, all right, well, we continue on to this day. You see, we, we, we done uh, uh, broke out of the captivity of trying to be a street nigga. Okay, trying to be a uh, uh, chase clout or chase women. We done broke that captivity. Okay, we done broke out of that captivity, man. You see, we've been truly liberated in your house shot. All right, to be who we truly are, and that's why you know for us, it, it, you know, at first it was it was awkward, but then it began to be natural because this is who we are. Okay, as it says here, and um. St. John. All right, let's get this in St. John chapter 8. All right, this is the book of St. John chapter 8, verse on. Um, in 31, it says, Then said Yahweh shot to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, okay? Then you are my disciples indeed. All right. And we'll continue in this word by living by this word, man. Okay. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. All right. And when you jump down to verse 36, if the son therefore make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Okay. And our minds have been free through this teaching, man, of Yahweh shot. Okay. To where we all right, are not conformed. To what Esau, the images that Esau say we should be. Okay, this strong, angry black woman. Bitter, rolling her neck. Okay, bossing men around. Out of order. Okay, the single mother with all these, you know, children. You know, just depressed and, you know, in distress all the time. All these different images. Or just this look, young you know, over-sexualized woman that's just, you know, going throughout the world, earth, traveling, you know, getting popped and, you know, bragging about, you know, her, her uh, uh, you know, her sexual skills. Okay? These are the images that was put on us by Satan, man. The man, you know, had to be this, this tough, street nigga, you know, dope boy, uh, serial killer. Okay? Playboy just dealing with women, not really, you know, uh, uh, without any intent, you know, to really uh, uh, marry, you know, all these different things, you know, that we was, uh, there, all these images that was put on us in this society, how was shot broke us from that. Okay, he broke us out of that. He broke us out the mold. Okay, and now we're becoming who we are supposed to be. Okay, and that's why I say at first it feels awkward because we've been, you know, uh, conditioned to be a particular way in this society. But the more, you know, we really, you know, um, practice 
Okay, righteousness, man. The more it becomes natural to us, man. You know? And now there's no ceiling of what we can be in Yahweh Shah, man. We're just going to keep increasing and increasing, man. Okay? And I say the men, all right, and the women together. Okay? I say and women play a major part in uh, nation building because when you keep reading and say to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. And yeah, see, now we look for a vengeance, man, because we see what the devil has done to us, what he's doing to the earth, what he plans on doing, and we know we need a savior. <laughs> okay? We understand that, hey, we need a savior, man. And you have uh, a few sisters that have come to their conclusion, like, look, we got to get out of here. You know, there's nothing good for us here. This is not our risk. Okay, verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Okay, so now, all right, that, that, that mourning we was in, okay, is being counseled out by the joy of of what we're going to be, of what we're becoming. That's another thing, you you know, you brothers, all right, but even you sisters, man, you see what you're becoming, okay, based off uh, uh, these righteous teachings, and you know, you start to put off the morning, and you and, 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 and it breeds excitement, man. You know, me personally, man, just seeing what I'm becoming in your house shot, man, it just. You know, it, 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 it breeds excitement. You know, of course, we still vex and, you know, you have low moments, you know, but just the excitement of what we're becoming in your house shot, you know, is it, it, counseling out the morning, man. You know, you know, uh, it says to give unto them for ashes the oil of joy, um, the oil of joy for morning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, um, yeah, so now we in the spirit, all right, as we able to praise Yahweh by Shem Shah in truth and sincerity to just to just to be able to give praises to those names. Cause we didn't have those names at one time. But now we can praise those names, we can pray in those names, we can fast in these names, man. Give thanks to those names. Okay? And I say it only gets better. You know, and there's a joy that comes with this ministry, man. It ain't all doom and gloom. Because there's even a joy in the suffering, man. Because we know, all right, that the Lord is dealing. You know, there's even a joy in the suffering, man. It's, you know, we all in different um, circumstances in this walk. You know, you sisters that probably, you know, you sisters that don't have a husband. Well, that's a part of suffering, man. You know, because you're waiting on the Lord to make a move. Okay, you're waiting on the Lord to establish something, man. You know, and that requires faith and patience. Okay, and then the Lord, like Scripture says, He's gonna give every needful thing in due season. And see, the Lord is nation building. That's why I said that they might be called the trees of righteousness, man. Okay, and when you plant a tree, all right, you expect that tree to do what, man? To multiply. If you plant one peach tree, one season. All right, and it gives off peaches. Well, what are you going to do with the seed from those other uh, uh, peaches? You're going to plant more trees. Okay, so the Lord is going to establish, all right, a righteous empire, a righteous dynasty. Okay, with the elect of Israel, which is going to be made up of men and women. You're going to have whole families that are saved. Okay, the Lord is going to add, you know, um, more women, you know, to his men that get delivered. Okay, to establish what a eternal righteous dynasty in the earth and women play a major part in that, man. Okay, and it's going to all go to the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, the elders of Hobbes did a lesson to how you know scrape from the most high because every Israelite man is scrape from the most high. Okay, and you women are going to play a role, all right, in duplicating. 
you know, the glory of Yahweh Bashim al Shai on the earth. And not only, you know, being, you know, um, for childbearing, but managing the states. Okay, because hey, the, the sons of God are going to be some um, active men in the kingdom. Okay, to so where they're going to be moving around and those uh, states are going to have to be managed. Okay. And women play a major part in any rulership. And that's why Esau knew to get women to despise their natural role will be crippling to the nation. You know, in the same game, he came with Eve. Oh, so that's all you are as a wife. And you just his servant and you bear children. That's all you do. And he gave him that game, Eve, the game as if he was going to transcend her into something greater than what she was when she was already in her greatness, man. Within her role. Okay. And he did the same thing with the uh, feminist movement. Got women to despise their natural order under that man. Okay. But then he puts you in his workforce and he works the hell out you. Okay. You work these long ass hours. You got to deal with all his complicated ass paperwork. Okay. He gives you all this responsibility that you're not built to handle. Okay. He just ran you to the ground, you know, he he, you know, he teaches you, you know, to be, you know, um, promiscuous. And then you have, you know, uh, these children with no structure. You know, he just taught you to destroy yourself, man. Okay, but the truth is bringing everything back, you know, to his order. You know, the truth is putting everything in order. And it's a beautiful thing, you know, that we can end here. All right, I'm going to make it super long. But this is, um... You know, matter of fact, let's get a few out of here because, you know, uh, as we speak, you know, and, and that be the spirit, you know, the spirit be um, putting judgment in the gate for our women that's out of order because the Lord is going to judge a lot of women harshly, man. Okay, they, 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 they're just out of pocket, man, and getting worse. Okay, but that, that it's a beautiful thing, all right, the, the dynamic between uh, Israelite. A uh, man and the Israelite woman, that's a beautiful thing. And that's smiled upon. Okay? So let's get this real quick. This is on Sirach 25 and 1. It says, In three things I was beautified. They stood up beautiful, both before the Most High men. The unity of brethren. Okay? So this is beautiful before the Most High and men. The unity of brethren. Okay? Which, like I say, this word began to set... You know, the men in order first, the brothers in order first, you know, to create a foundation that can be built on. OK, to create a foundation that women, you know, can come into and, uh, and build, you know, and it says in um, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together, a man and a wife that agree together. <laughs> OK. So this is 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 is, is um, beautiful both before the Most High and men, okay, an Israelite man that's in order under Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and the woman that's in order, you know, under that man. All right, that's beautiful before the Most High and men, and this is what the Lord is beginning to establish with His Word. All right, and we ain't gotta put our marriages on TV on or uh, uh, on the YouTube or make. You know, is this big spectacular thing, okay? But it's a very important thing that the Lord is doing, and we're doing it in sincerity, and it's going to grow, okay, into a, a righteous dynasty, man. Okay. Um. Let's go here. This is Sirach 26 and 14. I started 13. Said the grace of a wife delighted her husband. And her discretion will fatten his bones. Yeah, man, and, and, and the wife in order is like health unto a man. You know, it's like a, uh, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's like a, um, it's, that's how you know, you know, when you experience a woman, you know, that's um, sincerely trying to be in order. You know, you experience the wisdom of the Most High, you know, the dynamic which he created from the beginning, you know. The chaos that we experience, you know, the war that they got between man and woman, you know, it stems back to Esau and his enchantments, man. All right, but in the beginning, it, it, it was not so. It was not meant. It was a set up that way. 
okay when he created eve you know eve was created to be a help which pretty much an assist assisted okay and adam you know was a ruler so eve was supposed to be an exit uh, assistance to him in his rulership okay and that's the order that women all right they, they, they follow you know they believe they're getting back in their order of being assist uh, assistance to the sons of god man you know verse 14 a silent and loving woman is a gift of the lord yeah a woman a woman you know that's um that plays the background you know she's not seeking attention she's not trying to be seen she's not trying you know to be hurt okay of course you know a man and a woman and that's another thing like of course a man and a woman y'all together y'all gonna develop chemistry y'all gonna develop a friendship y'all gonna develop a bond and it's gonna be out of this world <laughs> okay come on man all right but when it says silent it's just a woman is not trying to be on the scene <laughs> okay trying to boss the man around trying to you know, micromanage a man's life. That's what it's speaking of. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's see. I think that was on uh, Elder Yasha Wumba. You know, he be posting some stuff. Uh, let's go here. Um, go to his community. <laughs> All right. You see that? It says, a woman killed on her 60th birthday by a husband who got tired of being yelled at. Pow! Like that. You know? <laughs> you see, and these are the, the, the women that America has bred. These loud, boisterous, you know, out of order, you know, always, you know, trying to destroy a man's confidence. See, this is what we speak again. When we speak about Eve, it's not every... You know, so-called black woman. It's just this, this toxic, you know, destructive mindset. Okay, that the, 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 the majority of these women operate off of, man. Okay, in the way they tear men down, the exact opposite of what they was created to do was a sister, man. Okay, but yeah, man, you know, it, it was her birthday, so you know she was cutting up extra. All right, and you can look at her and tell her that she was a goddamn handful, man. All right, and it got to the point, Jay was like, shit, I go, shit, I just go to prison, you know? <laughs> All right, I guess she might do a lesson in there by herself, you know? But, um... Let's go back here. It says a silent loving woman is a gift for the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Okay. A mind. This, uh, you know, and that's the, that's the beauty. See, we were, this society just taught us to look at, you know, the, 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 um, the outer beauty of women. Okay. Which, of course, as a man, you want to be, you know, attracted. You want a physical attraction to a woman. All right. But it should come with. You know, an inner beauty as well, you know, to where a mind, you know, that's well instructed, a mind, you know, that has, um, that there's pretty much a mind that gets enjoyment, you know, a woman that has a, a mind that gets an enjoyment out of serving her husband, you know, in which the, the serving the Israelite man, like, it ain't no uh, uh, folding clothes, you know, cooking, you know, cleaning, you know. That's not no, no terrible thing, okay? Like Esau just made like it was so terrible. But here it is. He'll have you doing paperwork, okay, 12, 13, 14 hours a day, okay? Constantly putting more work on your ass, you know, like, come on, man, okay? But a woman with a mindset to forward her husband and whatever her husband got going, that's a beautiful mind. Okay, to be that assistant, to have a mindset, to always be trying to see what she can do to make his situation easier, to be some type of assistant. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, and this is what the Lord is bringing back. 
you know, and that plays a major part in the rulership and the dynasty. Okay? It plays a major part. You women are being linked to a dynasty that the Lord is establishing in the earth. Okay, going back to the house of David. Okay? So let's go here to um what's the wisdom of Solomon eight, you know? But just to show that the Lord is uh, establishing a, a dynasty of old. All right, as we speak about raising the house of David. Okay, it's going to be a dynasty, man. This Psalms 122 and 5. For there are set thrones of judgment. All right, the thrones of the house of David. Okay, and you read this in um, the NLT. Psalms 122 and 5. It said, here stand the thrones where judgment is given. The thrones of the dynasty of David. Okay. The thrones of the dynasty of David. All right. And this is what's being established. Okay. Amongst this great awakening of Israel. As the Lord is getting ready to establish the dynasty of David. You know, he told Abraham that what king should come out of thy loins. He told Jacob, king shall come out of thy loins. Okay. And when you have. A, um, a lineage or a, or a family okay of uh, perpetual kings that's a dynasty all right and this is what you women have been awakened to this is what you're attaching yourself to okay and what's happening is wisdom is putting everything in order this is wisdom of solomon 8 and 1 it says wisdom reaching from one end to another mightily and sweetly though she order all things Okay, and sweetly though she order all things, and this is what's happening. This wisdom is putting everything in order. Okay, it's even mending, okay, the um uh relationship between men and women. Okay, the Israelite man and the Israelite woman that's being mended, you know, that's not at the forefront, okay, because right now it's about enduring, you know, self development, you know, men prophesying, okay, being occupied in his word. All right, but the Lord, you know, you, you can see, all right, um, that the Lord is putting things in order, okay. So, you know, just want to put that out there, man. Just um, laying back in on the lesson done by Elder Apostle Bart, all right. So, Lord, will you edify to the next time? I say, Shalom.